Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So convert this into polar form and then integrate it. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we need to understand the region in which we're integrating over. So if you look at this, you've got a, an integral nested inside the out integral. Um, but then uh, this is dy, so you know it's going to be y equals something, y equals something on the, on the inner integral. And then uh, the out integral, this is x, so it's going to be x equals 0, x equals to 3. So, um, so looking, well, looking at this, we, uh, you should have a hunch that this is a circle. Because if you, um, if you uh, square both sides, that will then give you this. Uh, 9 take away x squared, add x squared, that will then give you this. Uh, this is a circle of radius 3. So you're talking about a circle of radius 3. And then, uh, and then looking at this, you're moving parallel to the y-axis. You're, you're, you're moving like this. You're moving like this, parallel to the y-axis. But uh, it's saying start at 0 and then stop at the circle. Start at 0, 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 uh, stop at the circle. Start at 0, stop at the circle. Uh, and then it's saying scan from 3. Uh, scan from 0 to 3 so you're scanning from 0 to 3 so really the region you're talking about is this region here uh, this region here and uh, and and to com to make the conversion to make the conversion we would uh, we would need to make we would need to stick this R here so this would be d r d theta and uh, and then the integral well this this integral here, the inner integral, is talking about the r. So it's going to be r equals something, and then r equals something. And then this thing here is going to be theta equals something. Theta equals something. And then uh, the re... Well, you've got to do r first. So, so working polar form, it would be like this. It would be you scanning like this. It would be you scanning like this in polar form. And then eventually you, you're going to... Um, sweep through the whole region so you're you're scanning from uh, from from a radius of 0 to a radius of 3 so this will be from 0 to 3 and then if, and then thinking in terms of the angle theta you're sweeping through from an angle of 0 all the way to an angle of pi over 2 so from an angle of 0 to an angle of pi over 2 so let's start again here let's start again here so originally we were given we were given this and then uh, we we need to uh, convert it to polar form so we've got to start here hang on we've got to start here and then scan like this so that would be from r equals 0 to r equals 3 and then uh, and then the angle you're sweeping through an angle of 0 to an angle of um, pi an angle of 0 to an angle of pi over 2 and then when 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 you um when you try and make the polar conversion, you always have to have this at the back of your mind. So you can then put um, this into the x, uh, put this into the y. Uh, d dy by dx will then become r dr by d theta. Um, so so this this thing here will then give you this thing here. So now uh, tidy this up. So that's r to the power of three. So that's r. So that's r to the power of three. And then uh, now, uh, now look at the look at the inner integral. You are integrating it with respect to r. So this whole block here is just a constant. So when you integrate it with respect to r, it will then give you. It will then give you. This is just a constant. It will then give you r to the power of four over 4 and you're integrating from r equals 0 to r equals 3 r equals 0 to r equals 3 so now we can put the 3 into the r that will then give us this thing here uh, and then when you put 0 into here the whole thing disappears so that will then take us to here and then and then now we've got to um, integrate it with respect to theta so notice that um, this is the exact derivative of this. So when you integrate this thing here, it will be um, sine uh, sine theta 
squared, also known as sine squared theta. Um, well, this is a calc two question, so you you should be able to integrate this. Um, well, if you integrate it, it would then give you this. Remember, it's um, there's a half somewhere in there. Uh, when you when you integrate this, it should be um, a half sine squared theta. Because if you differentiate this, it will then give you this thing here. Well, a half and then a four, that will then give you eight. Well, think about it. Integrate it. You should be able to integrate this by now. That will then give you this. And then from zero to uh, pi over two, from zero to pi over two, uh, put this into the theta. So uh, sine... Uh, sine the sine graph looks like this uh, sine uh, this is pi pi over 2 you can see is 1 so uh, when you put this into here this whole thing is 1 and then when you put 0 in here sine 0 0 so overall the answer would be this thing here 81 over 8 okay